even though agriculture might be regarded as one of the major economic boosters to most African countries, varying ecological conditions, poor seed quality, and eventual low produce have significantly impeded its sustainability. In particular, inadequate grain production and post-harvest losses stand out as the major impediments to agricultural sustainability. Kilimo Trust, through regional East African trade in Staples Phase 2 project, intervened through a consortium approach of, for farmers to remain resilient. Uh, some of the projects we implement here in Kilimo Trust, uh, Kenya are regional, others are national in nature. So one of such projects is uh, a project called REACT, uh, basically is a regional East African community trade in Staples. Uh, it's a project that is uh, funded by AGRA and here in Kenya. Uh, this project is uh, focusing on green grams, common beans. Uh, so we focus our efforts in uh, supporting production where it is uh, more competitive and also trained where uh, there are areas of uh, basically they have a deficit in the, in the various commodities. That's why, for instance, you hear uh, most of the cross-border trade on maize is uh, almost one-way traffic from Uganda to, to Kenya. Kenya being almost a net uh, importer of beans and, uh, and, uh, and maize from, uh, from Uganda. Kenya in particular is a voracious consumer of maize in East African region, thus unable to satisfy its demands with domestic supply. When Kenya doesn't have maize, we are made to import a lot of maize from Uganda. But we found there were a lot of challenges when people go as an individual. Number one, we didn't know anybody in Uganda. We didn't know who are the producers. We just knew the blockers, either in Busia or in Kampala. So we would send our people or, you know, somebody would go there, just go to the normal market and buy whatever was available. Most of that maize was not actually the right quality. They would mix the maize with all manner of things, things like debris, like maize cobs, stones. Sometimes we would even send money there to the blockers and the money would get lost. And it is through Climo Trust that uh, they were able uh, to, to connect us with a producers organization in Uganda called Napeu that is made up of the producers. And uh, it is through those producers that we were able to realize that the maize that we used to complain a lot, that this is the only maize that comes from Uganda, was not true. On the issue of the structured trade that Kimo Trust were able to facilitate between the two organizations is that it was a very big plus to us because the whole of Kenya, it was only APAC and Nepal who were able to do business during the corona period. You see now the lockdown locked most of the processors in Kenya. They could not be able to close border on the other side. But through our group and through our organization, through Grimo Trust, we were able to do business smoothly because already we had a, a platform through the WhatsApp group. Members from our side could be able to send money on the other side and members on the other side of Uganda, that is the cooperatives, were able now to deliver goods to us. It was, it was running smoothly and we saw the, the, the goodness of having a structured trade, done a very good business deals of around 900 million Kenya shillings because most of our members have been buying maize weekly, monthly, where we have been able to accumulate a business of 900 million, that is 40,000 metric tons of maize from the other region of Uganda. Due to the benefit of REACT2 project, maize millers are requesting for upscale of REACT2 project for them to maximize on the deep trade link Kilimo Trust has fostered between Kenya and Uganda. My encounter with the Kilimo Trust through REACT is that I really want to appreciate them. Beginning as a, as a woman to do this business, you see, it needs a lot of energy in terms of carrying the weights and all that. But uh, I really thank God and thank uh, REACT and Kilimo Trust for making it easier for me. So I really want to thank REACT for, for enabling us to visit the farmers, the cooperatives, after uh, interacting with the cooperatives and uh, the farmers, I'll go in a very formal way, whereby I can encourage the farmers, we can reason together, and they might make my work easy. React continues to skill uh, the, their mode of um, 
their model. I think it's good to think about the traders and especially those who are processing. Because for the processor, they need to sustain their consumers. And at times, they may not have enough working capital to stock uh, the raw materials until the next season. So if they can upscale and see how they can also work with the uh, processors to maybe fund them or loan them so that they can buy all the produce during harvest uh, to sustain their production until the next harvest. Efforts to boost the beans value chain in Kenya, Kilimo Trust, through regional East African trade in Staples Phase 2 project, took upon intervention improving bean seeds for farmers to remain resilient. Bean seed, its availability was a challenge uh, based on the fact that uh, uh, beans is an OPV and uh, therefore most of the company, seed producing company are reluctant to do uh, to do production of it. And this is why the project uh, uh, took it as uh, one of the areas that uh, would unlock uh, that value chain. Kilimo Trust has intervened by linking farmers with Egerton University in bean seed multiplication. Egerton University have been in collaboration with Kilimo Trust for the production of uh, three bean varieties, that is Chelalang, Tasha and Siankui. We are licensed, we are one of the licensed companies for the production of uh, Chelalang and we have also partnered in the processing at our seed processing facility. Partnership with Ikaton University and Kilimo Trust has enabled us to bulk the, to be able to bulk the, the bean seed. Uh, previously we did not have uh, the bean seed in the market, even for us we did not uh, produce any bean seed, but this partnership has enabled us to at least get some volumes. This intervention in the beans value chain has led to tremendous benefit to farmers due to production of bean seeds that conforms to both climate and topography of where they are grown, leading to a bumper harvest. Mimi ni mkulima na nalima vitu mingi. Lakini ile mambo sana nimeweka mkazo sana kulima ni maharagwe. Hapo awali kwa njia ilikuwa tunatumia kupanda maharagwe ilipoka napata gunia tatu. Gunia tatu kienda sana kwa ekari moja. Lakini saa hii napata kwa ekari moja. Pitia kilimo tuwasi kufanya vile walituambia, napata ikiwa kidogo sana ni e, e, gunia nane. Lakini napata mbaka 14 bags per acre. Kwa hivyo, kwa pande wa mapato, ni kitu inanisaidia mbaka unaweza fundisha nae mtoto. Na tena juu ya hiyo, hii maharagu utapana marambili, na ya tatu una, una, unaweka kitu kingine. Kwa hivyo, ni mzuri kuliko vile wanilipata. Kwa minipeleka juu, Nandika Asa nkaona hiyo maragwe ni safi sana na ikanisaitia sana. Nkanunua masini ya kusiaga chakula ya ngombe. Bia hiyo maragwe ni sisau likuwa ni chakula tena ya ngombe hile e, miti yake yenye libakia. Tulipata kusiagia ngombe. Pia nkanunua ngombe. Nkanunua ngombe ya masiwa. The intervention of Kilimo Trust has led to a significant upturn in the income index of about 5 million worth of beans produced, which has had a parallel impact on the livelihood of the farmers. And uh, we are so thankful to Kilimo Trust for mobilizing all the trainings uh, since it was their, their input overall pressuring uh, agricultural officer and uh, Edgerton University. Some of our successes which we have uh, benefited from uh, the Kilima Trust and Edgerton University, like I myself, I, I managed to put my input in my new house, so I can confidently say that I benefited from bean seed production since we, we had a ready market and our payment was made right on time and in full amount.
The linkages between Egerton University and farmers in diversifying of bean seed is among the success that has been recorded and a pertinent lesson to replicate for the continued growth of the bean value chain in Kenya. In effort of Kilimo Trust transforming lives through agribusiness, it has intervened through regional East Africa trade in staples project in structuring Greengram's value chain in Tarakaniti County in Kenya. Before Ariad's phase two, uh, I would mention that uh, uh, Greengram value chain in uh, Tarakaniti uh, had uh, uh, a lot of issues that was making it not work well. One of them was on the production. Uh, uh, farmers were not able to, to do good production because uh, uh, to some extent uh, most of them lacked uh, um, uh, information about uh, uh, the production, good agronomic practices. And also uh, there were solo losses that were coming up as uh, post-harvest uh, handling losses. Before the kilometers, we encountered a very big loss. I remember we encountered even a, a loss of the, the food truck and because of the, the quality. But he, through the intervention of the Krimo Trust, they have cleaned us on post-harvesting handling. Uh, on post-harvesting handling, losses were around 30%. But with the Krimo Trust, through the trainings, uh, the post-harvesting lo losses have increased from 30 to 10%. And the other things on on quality of, of uh, on quality of the produce. Uh, before the Krimo Trust, uh, farmers were just uh, being pressing on the ground, so the the, the greening grams and a lot of stones, uh, the quality was not good. But for now, through the intervention of Krimo Trust, uh, now members are using tampering, uh, tampering where they are doing pressing, they are using dressers, mm -hmm. but before we are just using sticks, but now farmers are using dressers to, to dress their, their crop. The local uh, market that we already have around with the telemail, and that market, the Grimotas has been able to make us go through other international linkages, like years commodity, uh, like, uh, you know, uh, multi-purpose, Lies producers in uh, uh, Moya, uh, other people from Tunisia, Kimotas have done all that to do to go through. All these are the process that we have been able to acquire through Kimotas. Kilimo Trust has also renovated aggregation stores, providing pallets, digital weighing machine, and moisture meter reader, which has improved on the quality of green grams being stored. Uh, Kimotas, as Tegemio, supported us with the wind skill. Digital weighing scale, which are meters. Uh, in fact, before our produce, farmers, most of our farmers, because we have no uh, equipment to, to measure uh, the moisture, most of the time we take our produce to the buyer and they, they were injected due to uh, high moisture contact. But now, as Tegameo, we thank the most trust in the set of moisture meter, weighing scale, use of surface handling, and also the effective use of patients and the other uh, technical services like uh, uh, these uh, accelerated varieties are for totally free and uh, so many other uh, support we are given by Kilimo Trust. The deepening of market by Kilimo Trust by linking farmers beyond Kenyan borders is an achievement of React2 projects that has positively impacted on the farmers.